Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi! My name is Pamela and on today's video we're doing one that I have been needing to do for quite a long time. Honestly, I've been needing to do this video for over a year now and it is a repot with me and it is repotting none other than this beautiful skin that to pick this jade satin. This plant it's literally crawling out of the pot. It has been begging for me to repot it. And I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But this plant is like severely just like thirsty. It It's starting to put out like a runner. And we don't do runners here, right? She's not a runner. She's not a track star. She's not going to get away when she gets, you know, off whatever the lyrics is okay uh, she's a runner she's a track star she gonna run away when it gets hard so yeah if you're interested in the repot with me of this beautiful again skin daps is picked as jade satin then keep on watching <laughs> everybody all right I think I'm gonna do this one a bit of a chit chatty sort of repot with me I already have my substrate mix and I just want to I guess catch you up on some things maybe certain things maybe not other things but let's just get right into the video the materials that I do have already obviously I have the plant that's in this planter I think this is a four inch like standard plastic planter and I'm just putting it up just slightly bigger. I don't know how large this one is, but it's like just a couple of inches and it fits like so perfectly into here. So you can see like maybe not, but this fits so perfectly um, that this is definitely what I need to a pot it. I'm gonna put the old pot that this was once in on the floor. I have water for after I finish repotting so we're gonna put that to the side and I have my pre-mixed substrate mix and I have the planter that is gonna go in and as always I have something at the bottom of here to catch loose soil so this is a used dryer sheet just keep it out here to catch loose soil and also to kind of see help prevent what's this you know the crawling of the plant from the planter so the substrate mix is a little aeroidy it has cocoa coir, it has coconut husk, it has perlite soil, what is that thing called? Uh, Lekka, it has some Lekka in it also. So if you missed my many videos in regards to this Condapsis pick this jade satin, then you may not know, but if you already know, then awesome. These, This plant in particular, or just Condapsis in general, they don't like really drying out. They prefer a moisture substrate. They don't like drying out in between waterings. If you can like let this live in water, this plant honestly would do really great. But yeah, so I gave it something that will retain moisture, but is not going to just like drown it like a moss, like not moss, like ferns do. Ferns love to just always be wet, that it literally just has water, it sits in water. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull this plant out, but I can't believe it's July. Well, it's almost July. This is the last week of June, and July is right around the corner. I'm gonna do my best to not damage the roots, so I'm doing that by squeezing the sides of the planter and also like holding the top of the soil as I'm doing that because the roots have just wrapped and rewrapped itself and uh, there's one other that I am going to have to honestly like break but yeah so Look how root bound this baby oh, is, but the roots are so healthy, so luscious, so white, so mm, 
but yeah this plant definitely needed an up potting so let's put that down there okay I also pre moistened my soil prior to even showing up for this video just to make it a little easier for myself so like I mentioned I have this mesh dryer sheet used situation and I'm just gonna plop some soil into here just a smidge and then try not to get like soil outside of your mesh because that pretty much defies the purpose of it being there so hack my soil down a bit my substrate mix and then I'm going to place my plant right inside like so I just give it a little loosening of Ooh, it's pushing it pushes, ah I can't even talk properly. It's pushing out a whole new strand, like an offshoot. That's awesome. That's exciting. <gasps> Yay. We love to see growth. We love to see it. We love to see it. Ooh, this plant is so thirsty. It is so thirsty. I have honestly neglected this plant this week. That's why I have two yellowing leaves that's closer to the base. So, and the leaves are looking a little shriveled. So, now I'm going to fill in the space around the, you know, the plant. July is already here. It's about to be American Independence Day. And like people who are still in school, you guys are like out of school now. But everything that's going on in this world, in this country, is so it's just you have to really be strong to live in this world, to be honest. So kudos to you, power to you if you're you know dealing with what you're dealing with and you're still you know pushing yourself to strive for better to be better because it's a very discouraging world honestly especially with this whole Roe v Wade that was overturned in America so Roe v Wade is basically giving the women the option to choose to keep or not keep their children it's it also encompasses everything like if you have like medical reasons why the child you know isn't kept if it's like a stillborn if rape things like that now basically women no longer have that option well the states can choose to not allow it so i hope the state that you're in cares about the women because obviously the government doesn't you know <sighs> and living in New York I hope you know I don't know this is just scary the times that we're living in I it's like this is surreal this is so surreal but in a country especially that does not have like medical like benefits but like free health care in a country that's currently going through a formula shortage so there's not even enough formula to feed the babies that are alive so now you're gonna force us to keep more babies you know <laughs> that we can't even that we don't even want and like 
so are men going to be responsible for these things like i'm so good it's just such an unfair world but it's an unfair world for women in every country you know honestly unless you're wonder woman and you live what they live in like amazonia then it's just unfair for women as a whole it's unfair the amount of money we get paid less than compared to men it's unfair that we are the ones that have to be more conscious about what we wear because a creep can't keep his hands to himself his dick in his pants it's just you know some people have to like cover up you know from like top to bottom It's just, I've been praying for you all. I am wishing you all just like good health, good sanity, good mental health, because mental health is something that it's more of a conversation now, but it's something that is needs to be put more on the forefront in regards to just humans as a well, whole, and now especially women. And with the whole Roe v. Wade being overturned, all it does is stop safe abortions. And, you know, like, your body, your choice, that's what I believe. If you want to have an abortion, you can have an abortion. If you don't want to have an abortion, you don't have to have an abortion. But it should be the woman's choice. Because we're the ones that are carrying the child. We're the ones that is the vessel. We are the ones that are going through all the pains, the labors putting our own lives at risk to to birth a child and this country has the highest mortality rate for, <laughs> for birth also so it's like it doesn't make sense so just keep yourself and your loved ones close to you talk to your friends support your friends if you know someone that's pregnant talk to them be there for them support them because it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot and I don't even know what else to say rinse this and I'm gonna use the water that I just rinsed this with I just give this little swirl Add the extra sludge. I'm just gonna water this plant. I'm gonna put it right here. Cause I remember how thirsty this plant. It was so dry. It was such a quick repot with me. But I guess this is really all I wanted to chat with you all. It's such. It's the biggest thing that's happened right now in this country. And as a woman, this definitely affects me. So, I don't have children yet. I haven't been in a situation where I possibly could have had a child. And I know people who have been in these situations. And everybody made their own decision for themselves, whether to keep it or not to keep it. Some miscarried some carried and the child close to the end didn't survive so all of those are considered illegal so yeah i don't understand how this world this country is just going backwards and backwards and backwards year by year day by day it's like are you flipping kidding me that's just what it is. It's like, are you flipping kidding me? It's like, is this a joke? It's like, are we a joke? Everything is just like a joke. That's just how it is. So, thank you, my salty pecans, for joining this pretty controversial repot with me. If it's controversial to you, then maybe you sh are not the type of salty pecan I need in my can of nuts. Okay because again like I said
I'm a woman and my body, my choice always. I'm for life, but I'm for the woman's life. And if her having a child can potentially put her life at risk, it's not okay. It's not okay. So yeah, my thoughts be hands. Thank you again for watching this repot with me. Let me know your opinions down below on the conversation, the topic of this whole video. <sighs> I send again so much love and prayer out to every woman out there because this is what affects you if you are a trans. Um, I'm not sure if it's trans man or trans woman, but if you were previously a woman and decided to transition into male, there are many who choose to carry children. Also, if you are a lesbian, you know, two lesbian couples, all of these things affect you. If you are a cisgendered woman, that affects you. There's just so many different terminologies, but a person who's able to carry a child this is who I'm speaking to whether you want to carry children or not this affects women as a whole okay so <sighs> thank you again my salty pecans for watching my video if you liked it, please let me know by giving it a big old thumbs up and sharing. Subscribe if you aren't already. Join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here. Become a salty pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you're following me on my other social media platforms at Houseplant, H-A-U-Z-P-L-A-N-T. And also, just so you know, I do have a second YouTube channel. haven't uploaded anything yet, but I'm just mentioning it now to you all so you can go ahead and follow me there. Pamela Pierre, I have it linked in the description box, and yeah, I will see you on the next one. Let's get going.